myself and thousands of other people like me rely on these benefits. And if the government cut them again, then they're basically cutting everybody's throat. To work 40 hours and not have the basic things in life is just a really bad way to live. If they cut benefits, I would need a job which pays more than what I'm getting. Working 35 hours a week, earning £13,000 a year isn't enough for Mark Payne to support his family. Although he works for a profitable supermarket chain, he relies on £7,000 of tax credits to supplement his income. They're just going to cut and cut and cut. And I don't, I, me personally, they kind of cut any deeper into my, into my budget because I wouldn't even call it a budget I've got left. I don't know what they're going to cut, but I've, I've got nothing left to give. Mark's fears come from predictions that the £12 billion of government cuts in this week's budget will fall on people like him. And it's cities like Glasgow, where many are in poverty, that the impact of cutting benefits hits especially hard. Glasgow's East End is known for social deprivation and unemployment, but as the old tower blocks are demolished, the face of poverty here is changing too. Around half of all those in poverty now live in working households. They may have jobs, but low-paid, insecure ones that mean they still rely on benefits. But the Conservatives' message has been that the road out of welfare is work, and it's one they're sticking to. I understand that there have been lurid headlines, and, and that is uh, frightening for some people. But this is about making sure that people are less reliant on welfare and more independent because they have more income of their own means. But paying people enough to live on is not a legal requirement. Phil Culpatrick says it should be, even for small businesses like his, which does pay the living wage. People should expect if they do a 40-hour work and are productive within that job that they should have the basic things in life, the living things, in other words, the living wage. And that's what we believe, and we believe that makes a better member of staff and a more productive member of staff. Volunteering at Glasgow Project Galgale has taught Andrew Moffat new skills. That's led to full-time employment, but still hasn't broken the cycle of welfare dependency. If the government gave the money that they gave me to my employer and my employer paid that money to me, I wouldn't have to, thousands of people wouldn't have to be in receipt of benefits and work a system which is just so stressful to be part of. That system is about to change radically, in favour, the government says, of those who work. But for many in Glasgow, work alone is not enough. Afwahersh Sky News.